So the biggest issue with our political environment in America, and really uh, all over the world, uh, but certainly in America, uh, is the system that's used to actually select the candidates. You see, power ultimately resides in the production of political candidates. Uh, and then once those who have control over who the candidates are, are done doing what they want to do, then they can pretend it's a democracy by letting you choose between the two or three, but really two pre-selected candidates. And so the beginning of improving American politics is beginning to actually alter the candidate selection process. The candidate selection process can be easily improved by simply opening up primaries and moving from a binary voting system to ranked choice voting and then ultimately shifting to a mandatory distributed finance for elections where basically everybody uh, has a maximum donation of $200 no matter who they are. Uh, now, none of this is going to obviously happen at the federal level at least not anytime soon. But I strongly recommend we focus our attention on city hall and state houses because that is A, more achievable, and, and also, once you've achieved a culture of ranked choice voting and open primaries along with distributed finance at city hall and the state house, it will be impossible for the federal government to do anything but adapt to it, which is why I am so proud, obviously, of what they're doing in Maine with the move towards ranked choice voting on a state level, or in uh, Minneapolis, for that matter, where they've moved towards ranked choice voting on a city level. So uh, again, uh, ignore the giant uh, federal government and pay attention to reforming the voting system at the local and state level with a focus on open primaries, ranked choice voting, and distributed finance.